he went that way again. So let's do it again. I went jab, he went that way. I go cross, he goes that way. Big mistake if you catch your uh, opponents doing it, make them pay for it. What's up and welcome to Fight City Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Wallin. If you guys haven't, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need some gear, just go to fightcityslc.com or there is a link in the description. Pick yourself up some gear. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about the most effective types of striking. We're talking punching, kicking, knees, and elbows. I've done a video on knees and elbows, and I started out saying that I think punching is obviously the most effective way to strike. That leaves us with kicks. And it's not that I don't like kicks, it's just that I like the punching knees and elbows more than kicks. It also, I'm also not saying that kicks aren't dangerous. Kicks are extremely effective and dangerous if you know how to utilize them correctly. So the number one thing I see in kicks, especially amongst amateur fighters, is they're kicking not with bad intentions, they're kicking out of fear. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Austin, if you'll just step back, let's just fight each other, we'll touch gloves. Boom, right now I feel safe because he can't really immediately punch me, grab me, do anything like that. So it's like, I feel safe right here. So what guys start doing is they start reaching this lead roundhouse, maybe on an inside here, and, and they start doing it like, oh, I can be productive, but I don't have to stand here where he can kill me. And I can spot it in like two seconds when I'm cornering fights or watching fights where a guy's out here kicking out of fear versus setting it up and kicking with bad intentions. So the biggest reason I don't like kicks is because I feel like a lot of young fighters hide behind their kicks out of fear. Fear that they don't want to stand right here and get socked, wham, right in the face. So they try to take the fight out here. So once again, can we be effective out here? Absolutely we can. But let's do something like this. Let's say I'm a little bit more patient. Austin throws that jab off that. Now I've got a clear alley. He's closed the distance for me. This roundhouse will be money right to the body. Same concept, let's say I end up doing a double jab, he maybe comes up behind his hands a little bit. Double jab, I've got his attention up here, now I go with bad intentions down here on that leg. If you're setting him up and you, it's like I'm doing this so that I can land that. I'm doing this so I can land that. Now all of a sudden your kicks will start landing more often and they'll be way more effective. I just don't think people throw them properly, especially in the amateur rings. So the way you're gonna make your kicks way more effective is have a target, point out some areas that I'm really looking to kick. Inside, calf. Outside, calf. Inside, upper leg, thigh. Outside, thigh. Sometimes, will you check this kick for me? And Carlos went over this in the last one. We can go under, let's go check a little bit higher for me. I can go under to the inside calf on the far one. So these are all targets that are possible where you're not kicking out of fear, you're kicking with intentions. Now, we also talked about he pumps that jab and I'm going here around with that roundhouse or if he isn't throwing that cross, same concept, I'm going right there. Then the other thing is now that we're above, we now can start talking about like teeps and front kicks. I can kind of hold my ground, kick my knee up and push that straight into his body. Also, if he comes with that jab, I can even get a little bit more power off the back leg and push that one right into his body. So now it's like in the body, I'm looking at these straight targets, but I can also have these around targets. Now when we go to the face, I can still go through the center between his elbows on like a front kick or a teep, and we're just gonna go boom, right to the chin, or if I go with the roundhouse, I'm coming around that way, or honestly, I got a guy with this one time where I, every time I pumped either my jab or my cross, he was ducking and rolling this way. So I noticed I go jab, boom, he's off that direction. I go cross, he went that way again. So let's do it again. I went jab, he went that way. I go cross, he goes that way. Big mistake if you catch your uh, opponents doing it, make them pay for it. So here I go. I go cross and he makes a mistake, goes that way. And it was almost, it was maybe a textbook roundhouse, but it was more like a football, just straight up, boom, just straight across his face. So if they're gonna bend for you and go into your kicks, I'm telling you, your kicks can be the nastiest, most dangerous, most lethal tool you have, but more often than not, I see amateur fighters throw them out of fear and not just set up in, in intentions. So I hope you guys don't forget that. We've got the inside alleys, the outside alley, to the body, to the chin, around the top, around the top, and the big key guys, set it up with punches. 
the big key guy set up with punches. I did a video a few videos back where I said, if you're not sure what to do, double jab. And that still holds true, but if we go double jab, cross, hook, now all of a sudden I'm creating angles and I'm creating and finding new and better opportunities. Anyway guys, thank you Austin. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about other techniques, let me know and we can go over it in another video.